Hi, my name is Alex from APC Dynamics, and in this video, I will show you how to process drop shipments in Dynamics 365 Business Central. There are two main ways to create dropship purchase orders. I'll show you the direct way of creating the purchase order directly, and using the second method, I will show you how to use a requisition worksheet to create the dropship purchase orders. Let's get started. So we're now on the sales order. For any sales orders that you want to create a dropship purchase order for, you want to make sure you have the sales line marked as dropship. If you don't have this field on your sales order lines, you will need to go to the personalization and add the drop shipment field onto the sales lines. You want to make note of the customer that you are selling to. Also, the ship to code that you want the vendor to be shipping the items to. Now let's go to the purchase order and create a new purchase order. Type in my vendor. Scrolling down on the shipping and payment, you want to make sure you choose the customer address. Define the customer that you are going to be creating the dropship purchase order for. And you want to define the ship to code that you want the vendor to ship to. Once I've defined the customer in the ship to code, I'm going to click on action, function, dropship, and get sales order. This will give you a list of all of the sales orders that are marked for drop shipment. Choose the order, click OK. And this will automatically bring in the lines for drop shipments. Now I'm going to show you an easier way to create the drop ship purchase order. This is the way I prefer to create the drop ship purchase orders. You go to the work requisition worksheet and just click on drop shipment and get sales orders. This process will scan all of the sales orders that are marked for drop shipment. Click OK. And this will bring up the line that I've marked for drop shipment. If I scroll to the right, I'll see that it's it filled in the sell to customer number and the ship to code for me. And I could choose to make the purchase order to a different vendor if I want to. Once I confirmed everything, I click on home and carry out action message and click OK. And this will create the drop ship purchase order for that sales order.